Earlier this year, we brought you some awesome changes. And now, it's time to finish what we started. This year, we've been able to bring you a new logo, new and better tutorials, and Visual Pricing 2.0 that came complete with added features and more modern designs. However, there was one graph in 2.0 that we weren't able to change during that initial launch, the real estate pond. The real estate pond has long been a great tool to explain the real estate market to clients that do not spend their entire lives in real estate. The simple analogy of a farm pond with homes flowing into the market and flowing out as they sell is one that's connected with clients across the states and across Canada very easily. So when we look to change and modernize that graph, we wanted to take our time and make sure that we did things that brought extra value to it without taking away the value it already has. Now, if you look at the current real estate pond, you can see that it's very good at explaining the market and it very easily shows the, the flow of homes coming in and out. However, when we look at the desire to design this a little bit differently, we also wanted to add those simple understanding values. For example, we want to take away the need to count the homes and then look at the scale of homes to know how much each house actually represents. Most agents, when they use the pond, the main takeaway they get to use is, is it favoring buyers or sellers? In order to discover that, they have to do a math problem taking the projected closed minus the houses that are currently under contract to see whether you're in a positive or negative sales environment. Now, as we looked at modernizing it, we also asked ourselves a simple question. Are the pond and the projected pond both necessary? The real estate pond by itself works great. But the problem is when a market is seasonal, it doesn't ac account for the neighborhood patterns like the buying pattern or the time to sell as accurately. That's why Tim DeLeon created the projected pond in the first place. It factors in the neighborhood patterns and allows you to project in the future based on last year's sales data and patterns so that you can accurately predict the customer experience. Now, after we thought about it, we realized that projected pond and that formula will work with non-seasonal and seasonal markets. So as we move forward, you will see that we only have one pond, but this new pond is super powerful. The real estate pond is now being known as pond 2.0, and we're going from this graph to this one. You can clearly see the new modern look, the simple readout of numbers, and a simple to understand supply and demand, whether it's favoring buyers or sellers at the moment in that market. This new graph gives you simple, easy to understand information that you can use with your clients without having to go into math problems or counting, and a new modern design that better fits the client desire. What started as a want to create more appealing design turned into something so much more and we're so excited to be sharing the Pond 2.0 with you. In order to get this graph, you must download the new software edition of the Visual Pricing System. Now let's look at how to create it and how to present it. In order to create the Pond 2.0, it's just like you would create a Pond before. You load your data in and go to the positioning tab where it's automatically created for you. Again, with 2.0, you can upload second positioning data. And again, it will be automatically created for you under that positioning tab. Click positioning and it opens the positioning data sheet. And down at the bottom, you'll find that tab that is now labeled Pond 2.0. Simple as that. When presenting the Pond 2.0, there are three situations you might run into. The first being where the market is favoring buyers, the second where the market is balanced, and the third where it favors sellers. For example, I'll demonstrate how to present when the Pond 2.0 favors buyers. Now before I go into this, this script as well as the script for when it favors sellers are both available in our blog 
the link to which is going to be in the description. So you can click there and find this script. You can print it out and practice yourself. So looking at our pond here, we first would introduce to our clients the idea of the pond. So if I was speaking to you as a client, I'd start on the lines of, as you know, when we go to position your home, buyers out there are not just looking at your home, but they're looking at other homes in your price range. Would you like to see what the market looks like based on your price range and the competition? After they say yes, then you bring out the pond. This here is a very simple representation of the real estate market. Homes flow into the real estate market. They either go under contract and flow out of the market. They get showings but don't ever go under contract and they kind of sit or they go down the stagnant mass where they sit for a long time and eventually sink to the bottom and come out of the market as expired properties. This graph here kind of just shows that as three different labor layers. You can see the flowing where they're getting under contract, the showing where they're getting showings but not under contract yet, and the stagnant, the homes that have been sitting for a long period of time. In your current situation, you can see that there are five that are currently under contract. There are 13 that are on the market but not under contract yet, and two that have been sitting there past their average time to sell date, meaning they're probably in that stagnant zone where they're not going to sell unless something drastic happens. Now looking at this, we can actually predict into the future of how many homes are predicted to sell. This here number shows you that there's six predicted homes to sell, which means that out of, with five under contract, there's only one really that's gonna sell. Now your home coming on the market is now competing with these 13. This puts buyers in an advantageous situation. So the market now is favoring buyers. What this tells us is when we go to position your home for sell, we have to be a little bit conservative and be real careful to make sure we're hitting market value. Otherwise, we might be missing that small hint of opportunity because the odds of selling in the future are not necessarily in your favor. So we need to be really accurate on our pricing. That being said, would you like to see the positioning against competition? That last question leads them into the positioning scattergram. This simple example of understanding the pond 2.0 shows you how much easier it is to present when you have those basic numbers and that gauge that goes back and forth. Again, the demonstration or the script, I should say, for the presenting when it's in the seller's favor or a seller's market will be in our blog, again, link in description. We are so happy to bring this Pond 2.0 and this new look to you. It is available now, so make sure you download the new version of the visual pricing system. Thank you for being with Focus First, and I hope that you get to use these graphs to improve your pricing and really connect with customers. If you have any feedback or questions about the graph, please contact us at support at focusfirst.com. We'd love to hear from you because these graphs are meant to help agents. Again, we have sold real estate and we built this as a need for ourselves and are happy to share these graphs with you because we know they can help agents improve their business. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. And thanks for being part of Focus First.